So we have our beautiful cow. Oh, I just, oh, I just broke. I just broke seeds. I mean, I broke grass and it gave me this many seeds. I did not mean to do that. Wait, what happens if we do it again? Disclaimer, using this on servers and realms can get you banned. Use this at your own discretion. Some servers and some realms do support modding apps and hacking apps, but make sure you check before using it. So welcome back everyone. My name is Echo and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's Minecraft video, I bring you an updated download tutorial and guide for the best modding app for Minecraft Pocket Edition the bedrock version. So for the past two weeks, I've had non-stop comments saying that the toolbox modding app is outdated and a bunch of people asking me what this app is called. So I thought, okay, 1.17 has released. Let's do an updated tutorial. And that's what I'm bringing you today. This app is now fully supporting version 1.17.0 and also the latest version as me making this video, which is version 1.17.2. We are expecting version 1.17.10 very, very soon. So this should also work for that as well. You are going to need two things. Number one, you are going to need Minecraft. Pretty obvious, right? And you're going to need this app, which is Toolbox. I'll leave a download link at the top of the comment section and also in the description. But let's just quickly go to the Google Play Store so you can find it anyway. When you're on the Google Play Store, you can simply type in toolbox for Minecraft or just simply type in toolbox and then search and it's gonna be the top one. It's this one, it's toolbox for Minecraft PE. It has over 50 million downloads. And again, it was most recently updated as well. So that's the one we are using. So once you've installed the app, just open it. Now this is gonna open Minecraft like normal apart from you're gonna have this which is basically your power tool it gives you all the power and the ability to do customize modding and so much more obviously if you want to log in with your microsoft account you can do that so once you've signed in you're pretty much ready to go again this button can be moved to wherever you want some people like to have it top right some people like to have it top middle i like to have mine top left now when you tap on this you have tons of different options down to movement world render commands and combat don't recommend doing this on the home screen so let's go to a single player world just before we get into this again don't do this on servers and realms that you know apps like this are not allowed i typically use this because i really like the fact it has a mini map it's really helpful for me to do seed showcases and it has lots of advantages other than just cheating in servers and realms so be smart don't be stupid so I went ahead and just created an ordinary world, which by the way, has a fantastic seed start. So let's go through a couple of things. Number one, you do have the fly ability. All right, so if you're in survival, you can fly, but be very, very careful because if you are in survival and then you drop down, you're gonna get yourself killed. So pretty standard, you have no clip. This is something I don't recommend using if you are in survival. So we're just gonna quickly switch to creative. So the best way to explain no clip is it's basically spectator mode. Honestly, it's like spectator mode for the bedrock version, giving you the ability to just explore as much as you want. This is something I've always wanted to have on this version of Minecraft and it's pretty cool that this app has it. Let's just turn on some um, night vision so we can see things so much better. Night vision activated and it is so much cleaner and it's just a great way to find certain things in seeds or you can find specific biomes like this. So the best way to explain the no clip is it's basically spectator mode. And we've all wanted this on this version for so long. So yeah, great addition. I know what you're thinking. I have fly and no fall damage enabled and I'm in survival, but whenever I try and use these together, um, it doesn't work. It still gives you damage. So possibly a bug. Let's get into a couple of the amplifiers We have high jump and speed which can be changed to whatever you want by default I think it's three the lowest is two goes all the way to eight and the jump goes to six And if we jump you can see here we could jump incredibly far again This is something you're gonna need to be very very careful with in survival So let's change these settings to we'll go to four 
and five and see what this is like. So this way we're not going to take too much damage. But if you want to go fast, uh, this is the best way to do it. I love this one. Well, I'm taking a little bit of damage, but not enough. I think if you jump to this height, yeah, you'll take damage. Again, you know, it's Minecraft, right? And just notice as well, when you're holding a specific item, it pops up on your top left. Now, I'm just going to eat this real quick, because there's one thing I want to show you here, and that is the air jump. And how this works is you simply just tap it. You tap it. And the more you tap it, the higher you go. But just be very careful because with this one, you do take damage, like full damage. Other movement options we have available is auto sprint, no bow slowdown, slow falling. Maybe the slow falling one would be a really good one to have with the tap jump, the air jump one. So if we were to tap jump, yeah, probably the best thing to have with this. But again, I'm still, no, I'm still taking damage. I guess it's just Minecraft by, by default doing that. Now, this is a pretty cool one. The ability to walk on water. We're just going to go over here. All right, here we go. It's basically like you've got Frost Walker. Let's just change the perspective very, very fast here. So we go to third person from behind. This is what it looks like. It basically turns water into a solid block. If you're incredibly lazy, you can tap to teleport. It's a lot easier when you have the touch controls rather than the split controls, but you can just tap to teleport. So in world options, there is bridge builder and chest stealer. Now these are under the premium version, which it says enjoy toolbox experience weekly as a subscription, or you can watch an advert. Now watching an advert gives you 15 minutes of premium every single time. So I decided to watch an advert just to show you. And at the top, you can see premium expires in 14 minutes, 50 seconds, etc. So we got access to a couple of them, such as like the bridge builder and things like this as well. Um, I don't really mess around too much with the PvP kind of thing. So that's not really for me. You've got chest stealer, you've got nuke, you've got range as well. This can be dangerous. I think it's just a case, a case of breaking an area. Yeah, you can make this bigger though. Let's make this nuke seven. All right. Let's go. Now, if you want to go find yourself some diamonds really, really easily, this is the way to do it. And yes, I'm breaking stone with my hand because it's going to break so much of it. Wow. Okay. Oh, we found iron as well. Okay, not bad. Wait, I'm curious. Hmm. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm just curious if you start breaking things, does it actually break the ore block or does it drop the ore? Let's get myself a pickaxe. Okay, let's test this. So if I was to break this, will it break... Come on. Okay, well, I did not want to do that. I want to break, I want to break it this way. It breaks down. I don't want to do that. I don't want to break down. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. So you do get the coal. Okay. <laughs> it's really weird. Like, like, it breaks down rather than... I guess you can't break side to side. You can break down and that's about it. It's a good way to find caves, I guess. So the nuke is good just for taking out tons of land. Apart from that, you've also got haste as well, which can be changed from 1 all the way to 50 as well. So that's completely up to you, which again is really, really good for, for mining. Um, we have force achievements, which is going to unlock all your achievements. But I kind of don't want to mess around with that because I enjoy doing the achievements in my own time. You've got rapid build, rapid build V2. You have give item. Ah, so we're going to be able to give ourselves items which are probably slightly unobtainable. And yeah, here's a bunch of the unobtainable blocks. This is an end gateway. I'm not going to go through it. This is a structure void, which I believe is used for map making. We have the OG camera. And yes, you can take a picture. It should, it should kind of explode now. Don't kill me. There you go. Took a picture. I'm just going to put this down and not take a picture. Suspicious stew. That's not new. Spawn NPC. And you can edit these as well, which is really, really cool. This is not a hidden feature. This is just part of the education version. OG stone cutter. It will forever live on in this version of Minecraft, along with the glowing obsidian, along with the nether reactor core. And then you've got like this, which again, be very careful with some of these items because they, they will crash your game. So again, you can mess around with this and give yourself as many items as you want. It doesn't matter what game mode you are in. You can get anything you wanted. And what I'm going to do is give myself a netherite sword and some armor. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to max enchant it. Oh yeah, I gave myself soul fire. I gave myself the glowing item frame, the light block, and even the bubble column. Okay, so let's do the enchanting stuff. Because you can literally max out your enchantments 
as high as you want. You could put these to the best possible enchantments, and the highest one in Minecraft is 32767. So we'll do all of these, which is, I mean, you know what? Let's just, can you do all? I'm pretty sure there's a way to do all of them. So yeah, I decided to put literally everything on my sword. Everything. So let's see what happens when we kill this little piggy. I'm sorry, piggy. I gotta see. So we should end up with a lot of food. We end up with 57 pork chops. If that ain't good, I don't know what is. There's also an NBT editor. Feel free to mess around with that. And also the ability to spawn as much XP as you want via the tap of a button. You've also got reach, which gives you the ability to reach incredibly far, by the way. So like you can clearly see, wait, wait, wait. we could kill that horse from that far away. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that crazy, for reals. So we can go over there. I think this is a premium version, though. But we are clearly breaking those trees. I think that's one of the coolest features on this. Being able to break so far. And you've got Reach Fix Online and Name Override as well. So you're able to give these specific names if you wanted to. So these are typically the tools that I like to use for when I'm doing seed showcases. And that's like renders. You've got like X-Ray, so it's really good for finding specific ores. And yeah, it will show up every single ore you could imagine. Um, this one, you can change it by the way. You can change it to just be like, let's say you just wanted it to be diamonds. You can change it just to be diamonds. Which again, you can see how common diamonds actually now are since they fixed it in 1.17.2. And then again, if you're in the nether, you can change it to netherite. You've got chest EXP. And this is a really, really helpful one for finding dungeons. Or if you're on like, uh, purge servers or realms. It's a good way to find People's bases. There's one over there, which I'm guessing there's another one over there, which I'm guessing is Treasure maps and as you're about to see It is in fact a treasure map because by default in minecraft they already spawn in so you've got player ESP You've got block tracer. You've got traces which again is a great way to find entities as well but this stuff will get you banned on servers. So again, don't be using this on servers. Don't be silly. Um, you can take them off. You've got track air. What else can you do with this? You can change the size of it, which I think is a little bit extreme. You can change uh, mob color. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yo, that's actually really cool. So if you wanted to know if it was a mob or not, I would probably do it like blue. But if it was a player, I'd probably change it to red. I didn't see that last time. So that's a pretty cool addition. You've got entity outlines as well. And you've got like free cam. So how does a free cam work? Oh, I'm literally frozen. Okay, should probably be a little bit careful with things like that. So we have our beautiful cow. Oh, I just, oh, I just broke. I just broke seeds. I mean, I broke grass and it gave me this many seeds. I did not mean to do that. Wait, what happens if we do it again? I should probably be really careful with that. I did not mean to do that, but <laughs> I guess they could produce them as well. That's really insane. And they even got an outline as well. But in real time, if we were to go to, uh, like, Entity, and we could do, like, where is it? Where is it? Player block. Where is it? I've lost it now. Well, I wanted to just change the color in real time. Anyway, you've also got your, like, armor hood, which is, like, the top left, so you can see what you're holding and things. And then you've got mini map. And the mini map is by far my favorite thing in this. So you can make this as big as you want. The mini map is such a great addition. So you've got mini map on and off. I would, I, I wanted Minecraft to have this for so long. You've got radius, so I think five or six is probably right. You can change the size of it. I think it's a little bit too big, but if you like that, then that's for you. You've got size, show players, text. I don't, you got, oh, you got zoom as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. Basically Optifine zoom. I know we have uh, the spyglass now, but this is so much better. So you can add custom commands and then you've got a bunch of Combat things, kill aura, anti-knockback, bow, teleport to player, etc. Hitbox, auto armor. You've got all of these things available, but they do become laggy the more things you put on. Ooh, even I have a red outline. But all I can say is I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you could leave a like, I really appreciate it. If you made it to the end of the video, just let me know in the comment section. Have a great day, stay beautiful. There's a download below if you want to check it out. Don't use this on service. And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.